it's time. We finally got all the parts that we need for the 68 Super B. We got all the sheet metal from AMD, and we got a tail panel from a local friend of mine who happened to have a really clean and perfect one. We started by cutting out the rear frame rails, or what was left of them, with this Eastwood plasma cutter. After the frame rails are out, we'll put the new frame rails onto the chassis jig and roll everything down underneath the car and lower the car down on them, and we know exactly where they're going to be. We also put in these braces in the trunk to prevent anything from moving and to help line up the tail panel. We went through and cut out the remaining spot welds. And you can see how this is a little rusty under here. We'll come back and clean that up later. We also start drilling out spot welds that are on the quarter panels. We use a spot weld drill bit that we have from Eastwood as well. When we started to remove the quarter panel, we got this new tool from Snap-on. It's really cool. Cuts right through this metal, almost like a shear. With the quarter panel off, you can see just how rusty the wheel tubs are, but no worry, we have the wider wheel tubs from AMD. The bottom of the floor was actually pretty clean. We spent some time cleaning it with a wire wheel and hitting it with some afterblast and rust encapsulator from Eastwood. We gave it some dry time, and then we hit it with a weld-through primer before trying to mock up the frame rails. We have the frame rails mocked up on the chassis jig. We also have a nice coat of weld-through primer on them. We have the chassis jig now rolled underneath the car, and we'll lower the body down onto them. The frame rail actually mounts above this leaf spring mount, but no worry, we're going to replace this later. We're just using it as a guide to get it in the factory location. We lowered the car down onto the frame rails, and everything fits really nice and tight. You can see on the bottom here, it's sitting flush on all the mounting points. And I know this is the exact location that these need to be in because I test fitted it with two other cars. So I made sure all the guide pins are in their correct spot. Everything's sitting up against where they're supposed to. And a couple self-tapping screws to hold it in place just for security. We take a step back just to see how it looks. I couldn't help myself so we also laid the trunk floor in just for test fitting. You can see it's up against these tabs here to help put it in place. And it also lines up with all the marks on my original wheel tubs. So I know everything lines up exactly how they're supposed to.